I remember I woke up one morning and I checked the weather and it was supposed to be 95 degrees outside. And at the time I was working outside. Every day I was outside, so the weather was of great importance to me. And I just remember waking up, I checked it, and it was just going to be horribly hot. And I knew I was just, I was in for it the whole day. And, you know, I, I was getting ready, I was getting dressed, I, you know, I just kind of looked at myself in the mirror, and I just hated what I saw. I, I was 24, I was a college dropout. I was probably about 35 pounds overweight. Um, I, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing with my life. Um, every day I woke up and I did something I wasn't passionate about. And I had no idea where I was going. And I had no idea the direction I was taking my family. Um, and I just remember just looking at myself that day thinking this has got to stop. I hated college and I wanted to be out as soon as possible and um, part of that was Patrick and I were dating and I just wanted to be married. I wanted to be on with that part of my life and um, but even you know as long as I can remember I just wanted to be a mom and have a family and get married and that was kind of my end goal. I didn't have a plan really past that. So um, while I was in school, Patrick and I were dating and we were starting to, you know, talk about maybe getting married and that kind of thing. So I was very antsy and just didn't want to be there. And my mom, <laughs> she told me that she would pay for my wedding if I graduated school. So if she hadn't have done that, I probably would have been out the door a lot, a lot sooner than I was. But, um, but that, that kept me in and I finished and we got married a few months after um, I graduated. And so mom, good job, good job. <laughs> so ever since I was a little kid, I've always been walking around with a camera in my hands. And so I, I feel bad for my family because you know, not only was I the youngest, so I was the little brother of the family. I had three older sisters and you know, that's annoying enough as it is. I always was carrying a camera around me and I was videotaping everything that we did ever since, you know, five or six years old. And so I know I just had to be really annoying around every single corner <laughs> holding a camera and taking pictures and videoing. And um, so I feel bad about that, but I'm so glad my parents let me use the camera, um, you know, at five or six years old, I don't know why they let me use the camera, but I'm grateful it sparked something in me. I think what I loved about it was just the perfect combination of, of like a mechanical device where there's buttons and there's settings and there's things you can, you can mount it on it and uh, ways to set it. And then uh, on the other hand, it's, it's something that you can use to make art. It's something that you can use to document things and tell stories. And I loved, I, 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 would, I was always more than willing to sacrifice like being in the moment and hanging out with whoever I was hanging out with to be able to watch it, you know, six months later. To me, that was just gold when you could go back six months later and watch it. Um, so if you come to my house, you know, I'll warn you now, um, I'm always offering to watch home videos. So if you come to my house, we're gonna watch some home videos. So I am definitely that guy, um, but I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. I remember the night that we had decided that we were gonna buy our first camera and to say that we didn't have a lot of money in the bank was an understatement. We were living in a 700 square foot, tiny little one bedroom house on Shelby Street and decided that we were gonna take our savings and buy a camera. And that night I remember we were laying in bed and we were looking up at the ceiling and we both just sort of turned to each other and said, what did we just do? And it is a moment that will be always etched in my brain and I will always be able to feel what I felt that night when we were laying there trying to figure out why we did that and where it was going to take us and I will always think back to that time as the starting point of a whole new chapter for our marriage and for our lives together. You know I, I don't think I had a clear plan. I'm 
All I knew was that I couldn't spend one single additional day not doing what I thought I should be doing. And it was a real jumping off point for me because um, I, I didn't know where it was going to lead. I didn't know how I was going to make this into a living. If I was going to make it into a living, I didn't know. All I knew is that I just had to start going. I had to start moving in that direction. And, you know, actually, you know, it was Brittany that came home that first day and said, hey, I'm going to shoot a wedding. And I just remember thinking, well, better you than me. <laughs> that did not sound fun at all. You know, I don't, I was, uh, I was very skeptical. You know, I think, you know, growing up, as a guy, especially, you don't think, and you grow up wanting to be a fireman. You grow up wanting to be a, a police officer. Uh, being in the wedding business never, I mean, absolutely never crossed my mind. I cannot think of anything further away than what was in my mind or even what I was currently doing at the time. You know, being outside, working in the construction to be in the wedding business, like I can't think of anything any further. Um, but she went, she shot that wedding by herself. Um, and she had, she came back, had great things to say about it. And then, you know, that next thing, you know, that wedding led to another one and that one led to another one. And then all of a sudden, you know, I can, I can remember the first time that we shot our wedding together and, you know, I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. I'm sure the pictures weren't great, but I just remember at the end of the day, we got in the car, closed the door and we sat down I looked at her and, uh, you, you know, you don't get too many of those moments in life where you look up and you realize, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. In that moment, it wasn't just about knowing what I wanted to do in my life, in my career. When I looked over at her, that's when it hit me, is when I saw her, and I saw her right next to me, and we were doing this together. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be with her, and I, I've always just wanted to be with her. And being able to do that together. In that moment, I could not imagine anything better. He just has this thing inside of him that makes him want to know everything about everything. And it's sort of what makes him tick and drives him to always be learning something new. And it's always, you know, what makes him walk in the door with some other new piece of technology. and. Um, but it, it really does drive him just to, you know, always wanting to be curious and exploring everything he can. One of the qualities that he has that I wish I had is his ability to, within seconds of an interaction with somebody, understand them and um, in a way that I would never even see or notice. And that's one of the things that helps him be an incredible storyteller is he has this ability to connect with somebody in a way that no one else sees and tell that story in a way that communicates with everyone and it really is something that's amazing to watch in my mind Brittany is a superhero um, she has endured things in her life that most of us will will never have to deal with um, We'll never have to work through. But despite all of those things, all that's inside her is love. All that's inside her is compassion. And in a business, in an occupation that's actually quite turbulent, she is just this incredible sense of calm. She's my partner. You know, I think we got into this business thinking what we were doing was about photography, you know, looking back. And it was about cameras, it was about settings, it was about, you know, documenting, telling stories. It was, it was that, that part of it. But I think the more that we do it, year after year after year, we realize that it's not so much about photos and cameras and things like that, it's about people. 
and it's about the connections that you make with people and that's what i mean to me that's what brings you back yeah that's what brings you back week after week because if it was just a job and you were just you know clocking in and clocking out and taking pictures and documenting and documenting like you would get burnt out right like you wouldn't want to come back but you can't get burnt out when you make those connections with people and there are times where you really feel the gravity of what you're doing and it's easy to forget what your job is and how important it is when you're doing so many and it just yeah. becomes like okay we're going to a wedding today but every once in a while you'll you'll get a moment where you realize oh that's right <laughs> yeah i remember the uh, the first time we had a family member of one of our brides actually pass away close to the wedding soon after yeah. the wedding yeah and and i just remember um it was her it was her father and i think it was maybe just a couple months and maybe even sooner maybe a month after the wedding and i, I remember just being on social media and i saw our picture up on her page but it wasn't until i read the caption of the picture that i realized she had written that this was the last photo that they had together yeah. and i don't think it i mean that will change you a little bit well it changes the way you shoot on a wedding day too because you look at the interactions that these people are having with their family and you just you take it in a different way and you can't lose that that's that's part of what makes this such a great yeah way to spend your life <laughs> just trying to document those those moments yeah it, it, there's just nothing that can replace having what you do and who you spend time with to be of real value well we used to hear people joking all the time before we got married that once you get married your life will be over as you know it but they were wrong that was just the beginning of our adventure our adventure isn't so much about traveling or going to exotic places um, we've been able to have a little bit of adventure every day. And for me, it's not so much, you know, where you go. It's about who you go with. So far, this has been an amazing adventure. I'm Patrick. And I'm Brittany. And, and we, we are, are Shelby, Shelby Street. Street.